in the main arena. It is the medium anything but a collie. That's ABC, of course. Crufts medium and large intermediate novice ABC final. It's for medium ABC dogs. The grades go from one to seven, one being the lowest grade, seven the highest. We have two competitions um, in one over the same course. Two parts, in fact. This morning we'll have the jumping. This afternoon we will have the agility. Two separate awards and an overall winner. Graham Partridge is alongside me. Graham, good morning to you, and um, we're going to get get the day off to quite a start with our first competition on day two. Yeah, morning, Jim. Morning, everybody. Yes, so one of my favourite competitions of the weekend, it's uh, the ABC, which is anything but a collie, so it just gives uh, all the other breeds uh, a chance to showcase their uh, skills. And just to show to everyone at home, you don't need a water collie or a working sheepdog to do dog agility. You can have any sort of dog you like. First to go, Masha Cheverina and uh, Altai, four-year-old Saluki. First Saluki to qualify for Krufza in agility, the only Saluki to earn an agility warrant. Born in Belgium. Be very interesting to see how, how this one goes. And remember, these are these are novices. So we'll uh, we'll err on the side of kindness this morning, shall we, Graham? We don't want any waspishness from up here. Do we? Always err uh, uh, on the side of kindness, as you say. Uh, this is for grade one to five dogs, which is basically the novice in uh, kennel club parlance. But uh, they could well actually have gone up the grades now by now. They they qualified at novice, uh, and this is a really really good start. It's a lovely course been set here, and I think we're looking for a clear round. We are in. So that's going to set the benchmark clear round in 40.202. So well done to her. Yes, a very careful clear round as well. Beautiful looking dog. I don't think I've seen a dog go that carefully through the weaves in all my time at Crufts, but there we are. Next to go is Sally Clark and Arthur. Five-year-old Hungarian wirehead at Vizsla, member of the gun dog breed that will be... Um, in action here on the final day on Sunday. First agility dog for Sally, this one. I'm very surprised to have made it this far. Well, not quite sure why she's surprised. We uh, passed her this morning uh, that we've got a small practice jump out at the back in the collecting arena so uh, dogs can get used to the carpet and she was doing very well here. We always have a, a practice jump out in the collecting arena because uh, Day on day, people don't compete on grass. It's artificial, fantastic artificial grass. We've got them normally on earth. But this is, again, is shaping up to a lovely round and a great, great time as well. 33.20024. Well done. That's, that's the best so far. Nice clear round. Two clear rounds thus far. Alison True and Gabby. Five-year-old Vai Morana. Magical moments. Um, Alison has had with Gabby. And can be a contrary lady, this one. And Alison just hoping it doesn't all end in mayhem here. We shall see. It's not Go on, Graham. Just picking up uh, refusal there. Saw the judge with a clenched fist. Clenched fist means it's a refusal, and three refusals anywhere on the course is an unfortunate elimination, but they will, of course, be allowed to carry on should they wish to do so. But now it looks as though we're back on track. Now into the weaving poles. They must go to the right of the weaving poles and then in and out alternately after that. And now she changes side so that she's on the inside of this circle. You always want to be on the inside of the circle that the dog's going round. Coming round here, so it looks as though it's going to be just the five bolts, but again, a good time, 39.170. Yep, good recovery from Gabby. After an uncertain start, it's fair to say. Sarah Boya and Eric, five-year-old Labrador. Super Ginger Ninja, this one known as. First agility dog for 
I say, our first time at Crofts as well. And like so many here, absolute dream come true, running on the green carpet that is a uh, has been freshly laid for Crofts 2022. Good speed, good ability as well. This looks uh, just about the best so far. What about the weaves? It's very smartly through there. This keep if it keeps going like this, Eric the Labrador will be top of the pile in the end. Barking away round as well through the tunnel at the end. This is really good. All oh, little full 360. Don't worry about that. Still good enough to be a couple of seconds inside it and go top of the pile. Very nice. I'm sure her uh, heart must have been in her mouth then when he turned the circle in front of the jump, but uh, <laughs> uh, wasn't marked because he wasn't in a position to do the jump at the time it turned in a circle, so a clear round. And Sizer and Sky, four-year-old Labrador from Eastley in Hampshire. Sky, a working bred Labrador. Examples here, Graham, really how... A lot of people, I'm sure, around the world looking at this say, well, I'm sure my dog could do that, and there's no reason why the dog couldn't do this. You're absolutely true, Jim. It, it is truly a sport for uh, for all dogs. Obviously, some dogs are better suited to it at all. So, I mean, the large giant breeds uh, will actually, or can still do it, but they just do the very, very small jumps. Um, if you're interested in having a go, go onto the Kennel Club website, search for Find a Club, and uh, join a club, get some great tuition, uh, and be well looked after. Two problems with the weaves uh, for Sky, picking up uh, 10 faults. A very enthusiastic competitor. Debbie Hedger, smooth coated version of the Hungarian Bisla. Zachary, Zach's third year of competition, second time here. Bit of a film star, this one. There's a bit of TV and film work and likes being under the bright lights. But well, he's in the right place here on the second morning of Crofts 2022. Good start as well, very good so far, and very quick, faultless round. This is good from Zach. It's good and it's quick, what about the weaves? Yep, in the right way. Good speed through the weaves as well. Over the U-move jump right in front of our commentary position, a sharp turn there, and over the spread too, through that final tunnel. This is gonna be really good. 31.334, and that is number one for Badebi and the smooth-coated Hungarian Vizsla. This is Mac working bearded collie, nine years of age, and Joan Hart, one to go after this, a homebred boy, loves to run fast, this one, and a real true friend to the handler, Joan Hart. So a couple in the 31s and clear. One large dog to go after this. Oh, and unfortunately, just a, just a pole down. Uh, Joan's a very experienced handler, although this is one of her novice dogs. She's been involved with agility for a very long time. In fact, Joan and I did our uh, Kennel Club judging course together <laughs> back in the oh, whenever it was, but uh, Still loves her agility. This is a, a lovely dog that she's got here. Very enthusiastic. And as I say, it's a big ask here to be in the main arena, but a great thrill for them, I'm sure. So just the five faults as she comes up. Go on, get over. Well done. Great time as well. Just under 31 seconds. Quickest time. What a shame about those faults. Just the just nicking that that barrier there. Pushing her down the list a bit. Last of the large dogs, Tracy Hunt and Ragnar, another Vizsla. This one's uh, smooth-coated, five-year-old. First time at Crufts. Other Vizsla of Tracy's won this competition back in 2016. Ragnar, a bit like Peter Pan, apparently. A boy who never grew up. Only five, though. Now this could be really good because it's really oh just went wide there as pick up pick up penalties just didn't go through that first weave from the right hand side and that will compromise the round greatly but was really generating some speed another full 360 degrees turn over the new move jump over the spread through the tunnel and over the kennel club 
as the finale. So well done to Debbie Hedger, Toddy's Red Hot, uh, winner of that part of the competition in 31.334. Uh, we're now going to, the jumps are going down to the new intermediate height that we introduced a couple of years ago, but it's the first time we've actually seen it at Crubs. This is now the start of actually a separate competition. It's still for ABC dogs. Just confirmation of that result then. Uh, Debbie and Zachary, top of the pile. Sarah and Eric, second and Sally, Clark and Arthur, third, making that top three in the large novice section. Sorry, Graham, um, we interrupted you there to show you those results. You carry That's on. That's fine. I was just going to say this is... Uh, a new competition it's for intermediate dogs still novice dogs we're going to see and still all abc but now over the new intermediate height first of eight intermediate dogs raf three-year-old crossbreed and ellie buffett rescue dog this one got him at four months old his fourth home very hard to work to start with but uh described his man as a box of frogs so anything could happen here can you say box of frogs in a dog agility competition? I just have, probably not. <laughs> it's a decent start. And okay through the weeds, that big tail wagging and the ears flapping. Great sight, great pictures too. Good finale, this will be reasonably quick, this will be good. Yep, that's the best so far. 30.5 and no faults for Ellie Buffett and Raff. Very enthusiastic style. Look at that tail, ears, head, body, all going in different directions at the same time. How's that possible? 12-year-old Jibbers, the whippet. Nigel Staines, the handler. A good old girl, says Nigel. Rarely trains, blows very hot and cold, this one. We're hoping for a, a hot performance. We've already seen one in this section, haven't we? We have, but uh, 12 years of age is a really, really good age, and probably you wouldn't normally be running a dog, but people say to me quite often, when should I stop running my dog? Well, the dog will tell you. You will know yourself. This dog is still having a ball, still very able. Its, it's agility has kept her fit and able. Uh, and good on you, Nigel. Um, as I say, he prob this probably will be a last year, but uh, who knows? It's kept Nigel uh, fit and able as well. Through the tunnel, over the kennel car. Oh, oh, he just went round the side of it. Would you believe it? Just went round the side, right at the end there. You have to go, have to go the full, full course. And that's a shame at the end of that, Graham. It was. I think Nigel started to get a bit excited then, Jim. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he forgot what was going on. Look look at him. He's going, what an idiot I am. But uh, as I say, nobody's told the dog. Dog's having a great time. A two-year-old Kelpie, Krugeran and Bethany Todd. Very young Kelpie only. His ninth competition, this. Nigel Staines is training. This one at the Dark Destroyer Agility up there near Carnforth. And away we go. A little slap of the hands. Ah, didn't work that one. You're going to have to start again. Now, away we go. Shame about the mistake at the start there because uh, Krugerand looks to have the makings. Elegant jumping style that. And that's about the quickest through the weaves we've seen this morning over the new move jump. And again. And that spread, that's a really flying finish. What a shame about that start. That's really, really good. Tell us about the start, Graham. It was. She picked up speed as she went uh, went through there. But you see, at the start, she decided that she's going to recall the dog over the first jump. The dog got a little bit confused. As I say, big big occasion for these dogs, uh, and I incurred a refusal. Four-year-old Ernie, bearded collie. I'm sure that uh, he'd have had a nice brush and bath today. Heavily coated. Laura Brenchley, the handler, first time at Crufts. Lovely little dog who loves to work and goes into the zone when he does agi agility. 
described as a flying carpet when he runs. I can see what Laura means. But the carpet is uh, going well. I think she's just hoping it's going to be a magic carpet today. Like it, like it. Who said you were bad in the mornings, Graham? Very good. This is a really good round. It could even be the best of the lot. We'll see. 30.8. Just into second place. But that's a great performance from Laura Brenchley and Ernie. Really, really good efforts. I'm, I'm loving seeing these uh, ABCs going round just to show that they'd have just as much fun as anybody else. Well done. And she's had fun as well. Look at that. Great delight. Cassie Webster, an ace, five-year-old English, Springer Spaniel. Cheeky one, this. Likes to eat anything. You don't leave your socks lying around when the uh, ace is around the house. From Hull, these two. And that is a perfect start from ace barking all the way around. But faults there. Hannah Banks, we caught her. Uh, Raised arm. Picking up speed through the middle part of the course. That's, uh, that is really excellent work uh, from Ace. Comes down towards our commentary position, that tight right-hand turn. Now the finale over the spread and through the tunnel and completing the pedal club jump. Shame about that fault, but... Uh, Probably those of you would notice that at the very beginning there that uh, Cassie dropped the ball that she had. Uh, she then picked it up and put it in her pocket. You can't carry anything in, in your hand when you're competing. Next to go, Julian Rook and Millie. Spanish water dog, three years of age. Gun dog, this one. Loyal and active. And look at that beautiful curly coat as well. Started competing with Millie last April, so a relatively new combination. Julian Rook and the Spanish water dog, Millie. You do get a sense of the massive enjoyment and fun that Handler and Dog are getting from this early on the second morning of Crufts 2022. This is a very neat and tidy round so far. Might not be the quickest, but it's very precise and accurate. And through we go through the tunnel. And it's 33. 33 dead. And that is good enough for third place at the moment. Very good performance, Graham. Very nice round. You see that uh, he starts the dog from the opposite side of the jump. The, the round doesn't start until the dog goes through the timing gates. And it also allows Julian to, to get onto the course. So... Uh, Nothing wrong with what he did. Great expertise that uh, from Graham. One to go after this one. This is Erin, nine-year-old working bearded collie, and June McKinnon. Nine years of age, a proper golden oldie. All good from Erin and June thus far. Great work. That clear. It's a good start to the round. What about... Oh, yeah. Entered the right way. Great stuff through the weaves. Over the U-move jump. Tight right-hander again. Have to pick up a bit of time here, probably. But what a good round this is. Really, really excellent. Oh, that's the one you want to go to. Little swerve at the end. Great stuff from June and Erin, the nine-year-old working bearded collie. Super. Great. Great advert for dog agility. We've got an ABC dog, and, uh, and I'm sure that June uh, won't mind me saying that she's uh, not in the early years of her life. One of the uh, more experienced handlers. One we've of seen. the more experienced handlers. So, absolutely fantastic. Great advert. Great images there, too. Last of the intermediate dogs. Maddie Newton leading in Luna, nine year old Springer Cross Cocker. Her last show this before she retires. And Maddie and all her connections are really proud of her. 
nine years of age, looking for a grand finale on the biggest stage of all at Crufts. We know that uh, Luna is there. And it's a good, it's a quick round as well. All oh, but uh, the weaves, that is definitely not how to do them, so pick up five faults there. Did it right in the end. And it's apart from the weaves, this looks really, really good. Well done, well done to Maddie and uh, Luna. And that's, if it is the last time, that's not a bad way to say goodbye. Bro. I was just about to say, if, you, if you're going to stop retire, stop competing, biggest and best dog show in the world, in the main arena, uh, in this setting, absolutely fantastic. So Ellie Buffett, Ellie Buffett and... Uh, Raf first, Laura Brenchley and Ernie in second place, and Julian Rook and Millie closing out our top three, and we'll just give you the complete list of that uh, excellent competition that we just all enjoyed. So now we move on to the medium ABC. This is for one to seven dogs, so another a separate competition and for slightly open... It's an open competition, basically, from or any grade, so it should be a good competition, this. First to go is Geezer, five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, Nicola Garrett, experienced, successful handler. Geezer's first time at Crofts, and he's certainly going to have fun. That's a fine start from Nicola and Geezer. Really quick, tight turn into the tunnel. We'll buzz around the arena on this round. This is really setting the standard. This is high quality. Great right through the weaves too. That tail bashing away on those poles. Hard right over the U move. Then a little left hander. Then the spread. This is going to be inside 30 seconds comfortably. And over the final. What a great round that is. Nicola Garrett and Giza clear and 27 seconds the time. I mean, Nicola's a, a fantastic handler anyway, very experienced international and domestic uh, competitor, but just demonstrating the, the jump up now from the novice dogs to the more senior dogs as well. Great stuff. Sam, eight-year-old Springer Spaniel and Erin Inverarity from East Lothian. Always big Scottish support here at Crufts, and quite a few of them have got up reasonably early to support Erin and Sam. And another good, quick, very competitive round so far from these two. Weaves in from the right and smoothly in and out of the weaves as well. Little left-hander into the second of the Yumu the jumps, and again, another very quick round indeed. Very good, 30.3 and clear. Second place, excellent competition so far, Graham. It is great round there from Erin. Dog having an absolute ball. Look, the first thing he does when he finishes over that jump is to say, come on, where's my toy? So she'll go and get that from the steward. There so it is. There goes the toy. That's the reward for doing it so well. Lily Dakin and Scout, five-year-old Shelty from Andover. Up and running. Excellent through that jumping section. Good sound coming out of, out of the tunnel too. And covering the ground really quickly. I can't see anything wrong with this so far. But a fair bit to go. Got to turn really tightly there. Yep, good turn, good grip on the carpet. Good finale over the spread. This is really quick, really quick. 28.8 for Lily and Scout. And second place for these two. Loving it, Jim. Absolutely loving it. These dogs are having the best time of their lives. And when, when you get a clear round, it's also the same for the handler. Colette Atwell and Jacko, five-year-old miniature poodle. First time at Crosser, both of them very nervous and excited. And just to mark your card, nickname of Jacko is Wacko Jacko. We'll see. Seems pretty orderly and pretty good and pretty faultless as well. Yeah, that's great going through, going through the weaves. 
scurrying towards the next obstacle. It's going to be up there. It is going to be in the frame, this one, for sure. 28.9. And into the top three they go, deservedly so. Very nice to see two footing through the weaves, not necessarily the quickest, but still very efficient. And then we just had that slight hesitation at the end. This is Kaiser, four-year-old working Cocker Spaniel, and Linda Westerby. Kaiser is her fourth agility dog. Croft's final, though, is a first for both of them. He is an absolute joy to run, this one. Some very quick dogs have gone ahead of Kaiser. But he's made a very, very good first half of this course. Just a slight flicker going into the wheeze, but it's all OK. That's a really good turn, too, over the spread. It's going to be very fast, very fast. 28.6. And that's second place for Kaiser and Linda. Very, very nice. Uh, perhaps I should just explain to people that you're seeing the name Pogo Star Pandemonium coming up. That's actually the Kennel Club name, and all the dogs you see competing here have to be registered with the Kennel Club, either on the breed or the activity register. Deborah Teds and Stitch, working cocker spaniel from Warwickshire. Trained gun dog. This one worked all season in between agility competitions. And there we go. It's a multi-talented dog. This working dog and does agility just for uh, just for a bit of fun, I think you call it. But this is far from fun. This is a very accomplished dog here and partnership. Very quick courses into that tunnel. The dog working away from the dog very nicely here. At some stage, she needs to get on the other side of these weaving poles. She opts to change behind the dog, which unfortunately makes the dog turn the wrong way and picking up an elimination. So such a shame, but she'll have had a great, uh, great time, great chance to demonstrate and strut their stuff at cross. Great spot that from Graham. Spotting that uh, Deborah was the wrong side of those poles, and uh, yep, sadly an elimination. It was a good round up to then. Penultimate medium dog, Mr. Kelpie, Nigel Staines, and Zico, four-year-old Kelpie, a young dog. Nigel, a real champion of the breed, and a beautiful-looking breed those Kelpies are as well, and with a wonderfully distinctive jumping style. Really flies and almost hangs in the air to Zico and the Kelpies. And at the moment, they're very competitive as they go into those weaves. Slight stutter going into the U move, but uh, might just cost a bit of time. Again, through the tunnel, and never the quickest, but they're very entertaining. A bit of hesitation at the end as well. Well done, Nigel, and well done, Zico. Yeah, well done to them. As you say, this dog, uh, I think, is still maturing, still gaining in confidence. Although they are generally a confident breed, uh, they can be quite slow to pick up their confidence. So I think there's more to come from that dog. This is the last... The last dog, Hannah Fairweather and Spyro, five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog from Sheffield. First time at Crufts, named after Spyro the Dragon which Graham tells me is from the video game. I don't play such things myself. Only has little legs, this one, but always tries her best. Oh, dear, that's oh. a wrong course. And, uh, but, of course, the dog will complete the round. We just caught uh, the crossed hands from uh, Judge Hannah Banks. But why not? They're going to have a bit of fun and try her best. Spyro, the five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, and Hannah Fairweather completing this part of the competition. So Nicola Garrett, Experienced hander and Giza at number one, Linda Westerby and Kaiser, the working cocker, second, and Lily Dakin and Scout, the Sheltie, in third place. 
just round up and complete, complete the results for you. giving for the three competitions that we've just seen here, the ABCs. Hannah Banks here to present, so is the judge of our competition. So, the winner of the Crafts Medium ABC final. And we're starting off with the presentation for the Medium ABC. Okay, presentation has been made by Hannah Banks there. To Nicola Garrett, the winner. Obey, that's unlikely, very experienced competitor, but uh, she says she never, never, ever gets tired of winning here on this green carpet. And then Linda Westerby, is she pleased? Yes, she is. The dog gets a great big fuss. Look at the big smile as well. And then the intermediate winner is Ellie Buffett with Raph, the crossbreed. And again, Look at him looking up at her saying, did I do good, Mum? Did I do good? I've got my toy. I don't care about anything else. And then Laura Brenchley as well. Big smile from her. Where better to win than cross on this green carpet. And then the winner of the large, and I know she's going to be absolutely thrilled with this. I know Debbie quite well. Uh, the winner of the large, Toddy's Red Hot Ginger. Fantastic. Look at him. He's just saying, oh, he says, I've enjoyed myself. And there we go, Sarah Boyer picking up the reserve, second place, showing us all the rosette. 